This will be a segment on how to, to fill a valve action marker. Uh, first of all, you want to take your personal safety issues in hand, wear some gloves. It's always a good idea to wear some eye protection, uh, some safety glasses. Um, we have two types of uh, valve action markers that we use. One is a metal barrel, and this is going to be for all of our solvent-based materials. So we have a metal barrel and the metal uh, ball bearings or BBs that go into the uh, for agitation. The other component is the valve with the nib that comes in and out and a cap. On the waterborne side for the water soluble finishes we have a plastic barrel, we have a glass BB uh, that way we don't have any rusting or contamination from the, the metal. Same valve, same tip, and a cap. So we're going to go ahead and fill one of the solvent-based markers. We're going to add material in to about three-quarters of the way. Don't want to fill it all the way to the top. Need to allow a little bit of space for the valve to go in and also for some air. First thing we're going to do is take one of our agitation balls and drop in. We'll then add about 8 to 10 cc's, fill it up about to the three-quarter mark, up to about here. We're going to place a valve on top of the barrel We'll put the cap on to help protect that nib while we tap it into place. We'll take a mallet or a small hammer. And drive that down until this collar seats against the top of the barrel. We can then come back and add our label, put our information on that we want to about the fill. Center the label starting at the bottom and wrap that label around. That way we don't cover up any of the graphics. You can remove the tip or the, the cap and then to get the material to flow out you simply depress the nib and the material will flow. It's always a good idea to have a rag handy when you do this. Uh, you certainly wouldn't want to do it over the carpet or uh, anything that could be damaged. These type of valves, the material actually flows around the outside of the nib so that it doesn't strain any pigment out. So we just need to be careful with those. The nice thing about these, these valve markers is the material in the marker will not uh, dry out. The valve shuts, closes off any air that could get to the material. The only thing that will dry out is the the nib and the nibs are replaceable. You can actually pull that nib out if it dries out, throw it away and insert a new nib and the marker is still very usable. So after filling that marker uh, and we've tested that one, the procedure for the waterborne barrel or the waterborne material is the exact same. Um, you'd add your agitation ball, fill your material, place the valve body onto the barrel, take the cap and tap that into place. And that's it.